you almost have to know and want the truth beyond comfort and consolation. You have to have a need for it. I need this. I need to know what I'm doing in this world. I don't want to stumble into the future the way I've stumbled in the past. I don't want to lose years of my life over side journeys or hopeless relationships or pursuing things that never could really be fruitful to begin with. And so the yearning for the truth now becomes more a yearning for freedom, or yearning for strength, yearning for direction. And you're more willing to put at risk the things that you want or hope for, or your beliefs about how the future is going to be in a way that you want it to be. So it's a burden that sets you apart. You all relate to what I'm saying? Yes. Okay, good. <clears throat> if you want to know things of great value, it is going to have you step away from others to a certain degree, not completely. Because they can't go with you. And you can't take them with you. And you can't bring them with you. The calling is for individuals not for groups of individuals, and rarely for couples, but sometimes. And somehow, some way beyond our visual range, your name got called. They pulled your card out of the file. Oh, yes. I've been watching this one. <laughs> However that may be. Um, Somehow you've been stirred and life has brought you to a place to where you begin to value the truth more than comfort or fulfilling your wishes and desires. So be grateful for your mistakes and disappointments if they have brought you to this stage of your life that enable you to cross this line from living a life of fear and hope to one of certainty and direction. To have real certainty direction, you need to know where the world is going. Not specifically, not in terms of knowing dates and places of events or um, prophetic statements to deal with specific matters, but more, where is the world going? Because no matter how you view yourself in your life, you are going there. And it will have far greater impact on you than you will have upon it. But most people think of their lives without the context of where the world is going, without the context of nature and what might be happening in the natural world, or without the context of seeing the bigger picture of their life, their life circumstances, and what would shape or change that. And here, if you stay in touch with these things, you begin to have the eyes to see certain things. You see trends. You see things that are probably going to happen and usually do. Maybe not exactly when, but they will happen. The future is not entirely uncertain for those who have the eyes to see and the ears to hear. <clears throat> 